people welcome back to global health things today we're so excited to have you again ugm has sent a very strong message to the governor of a number of states over the detention of mazin and the Kanu. and they have made their demands very clear and uh, according to them if the state governor does not do the needful that they are going to visit not less than seven local government area in a number of states. And they have listed the seven local government that they will be visiting, which now means that it's um, the responsibility of uh, uh, a number of state governor to ensure that Mazinam Dikanu is released. And also in another news, it has to also do with UGM who are parading or yeah, parading themselves like in Napa. They have stormed the Buja Kaduna Road again. And you will see the nefarious activity they carry out. We're going to be bringing these two news to you in a jiffy. But before we continue, if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. According to the news, UGM have written letters to nine local government areas in a number of states notifying them of their preparedness to attack them. The anonymous group believed to be responsible for disturbing the peace and security of the state warned security operatives to get ready for action in Biafra land. Among the local government listed for these attacks include Ihiala, Aguata, Newi South, Oka North, Oka South, Idemini North, Idemini South, Rumba, Rumba North, Rumba Anambra East. According to them, these local government area should wait for us soon. We are warning our dear professor that it is time for action and not time to speak big grammar and talking. All the security men occupying should get ready for action. Go and tell the president to release our Oga boss, Nyendu Mazinam Dikano, of face continuous war. Rode Rode, final warning. And in another development, UGM suspected to be kidnappers on Tuesday reportedly blocked Abuja Kaduna Road and take into captivity several travelers. One of the travelers, Al-Haji Ibrahim, disclosed that he narrowly escaped being kidnapped. He said the pressure lasted for more than one hour. According to him, they were approaching Kumin Kare close to Katari, where suddenly he started hearing some shots. Said, according to him, he said, I was going to Abuja to visit a friend who promised to give me a contract between Kumin Kare I started hearing some shots but didn't know the direction. I didn't summon courage to move, but this time I was driving slowly to get the direction of the shots. After I'd been close to Katari, I saw so many vehicles parked. I revised until I escaped, he said. He said while he was returning from Kaduna, he saw a convoy of security personnel, but that the bandits had left with the victim into the bush. Kaduna State Police Command, through the Police Public Relations Officer ASP, Muhammad Jalige, did not pick calls for confirmation of the incident. Wow, quite interesting here. Now, first of all, let's look at what these guys have uh, decided to do. Talking about this group of uh, UGM who have sent a strong letter out about the issue of. Uh, the release of Mazin Amdikan. I will say truly that these guys have a plan. And from all indication, their plan is to worsen the state of security in Southeast. Apart from that, I feel that they have um, a sinister plan of keeping Mazin Amdikan in prison for as long as possible. Because I know very well that even if political solution was uh, going to be used to solving this problem, with some of the things going on in the South, is uh, a lot of people uh, will not advise the president to release him. You understand? And uh, I know that he's not happy about this. And there are some persons who are sitting down somewhere 
instigating these things to happen just to make sure they have a field day wherever they are. I mean, I mean I'm so shocked about some of the things that we've been hearing thus far. You know, 17, seven, seven local government areas, your intention is to go there and cause mayhem as if it's going to affect any other person except your own people. What's the essence of that? Some people say that, oh, they're doing it so that they can get the attention of the government. The reason why some people are supporting these guys is because they're staying far away. If you're around and you're doing business in this environment, you will never for one support them. Because if you support them, it therefore means your business is going to go sterile. And uh, when you stay a long time, you don't make profit, you think of relocating out. Mazin Amnikano had come out denouncing them openly that he has nothing to do with them, that he knows that they are paid. And the reason why they are paid is that they should continue to trouble the Southeast, that he never created uh, a group of people whose intention is to, you know, frustrate the effort of uh, or spill blood or do anything. That The group is, he, he brought into be was a group that is only out to secure um, freedom for the people of Southeast. So there are some nefarious individuals who think that their move is actually a smart one just to make more money are the ones behind this act. And guess what? They won't stop. Because as far as they look at it, it's making good deal of sense to them. They will continue to keep shaking the place as much as possible so that some of those who have dented hearts will continually contribute money to them and they will be smiling and hitting their hands in their chest and say, now nah, I'm the boss. I just heard that one of uh, these guys who carry himself as the current leader says he should be addressed as the Boris, uh, this England leader. That's how he should be addressed of Biafra. I mean, I, I, I saw it and I lack words to fully express what that means because already a lot of people have spoken and said that uh, one of the country is going to be about to suffer. It's what they may call palace coup. People who are eating with him from the same plate are the same people who are doing everything to ensure that he doesn't come out there. But then they do it in a very systematic way where everybody will be thinking that they are really helping out the situation, but they are not actually helping out. Uh, I mean, people have spoken. I've seen a lot of comments, but I like you to go to our comment section and also let us understand your viewpoint about this. Who do you think is responsible for these people who are, you know, behind all these activities? Do you think that they are senior officials of IPO? Or do you think that these guys are doing all of these because uh, they love their leader very well. Please listen to us.